Okay, this question is related to analyzing an alloy. So alloy is brass this time. So analyzing brass alloy. Question says we have a 1.5 gram of brass alloy and this contains copper and zinc only. So the brass alloy contains copper and zinc. So we have taken 1.5 gram of alloy and this alloy is dissolved in 3M HNO3 solution that is a concentrated HNO3. And now this gives NO2 gas. And the NO2 gas that is liberated, it is found to be the volume of the gas liberated is 1.04 liter at 298 Kelvin and 1 atmospheric pressure. So using this data, we can basically find number of mole of NO2 released. Are you getting? So if I apply PV equals to NRT, so let me do this one first. So if I apply PV is equals to NRT, I can find number of mole of NO2. I know the P, I know the V, I can calculate N if I know R and T. Okay, so let us proceed further for the problem. Now reactions are given to you, so some of the reaction that is happening in this alloy and that is given. So question says copper react with HNO3 and it forms U2 plus and NO2 gas and H2O and another zinc reacts with HNO3 it forms NH4 plus Zn2 plus and H2O. So what is my first target? My first target is to balance the equations. So what is my equation? So we have first equation is Cu goes to Cu2 Cu2 plus are you getting? Now I can balance this equation if I add two electrons this side. Now NO3 minus goes to NO2. So this is NO3 minus that goes to NO2. Are you getting? So I can write another half equation that is NO3 minus goes to NO2. So this forms NO2 and I have to add H2O and the medium is acidic because HNO3 is a solution. So I have oxygen balanced, I have to add 2H plus this side I have to add electron also so this side we have extra one electron so I have to put one electron this means if I multiply this equation by 2 and this equation by 1 and add this to equation I will get the balanced equation so if I multiply this equation by 2 so the first equation will remain as it is Cu and now 2 into 2 so 4H plus I will have and 2NO3 minus I will have because I have to multiply by 2 and this side I will have Cu2 plus plus NO2 multiplied by 2 so I will have 2NO2 plus 2H2O so this is my balanced equation now I can do the same thing for the next half that is the Zn react with HNO3 and Zn goes to Zn2 plus so I have one half reaction is Zn2 Zn2 plus and another half reaction we have that is NO3 minus 2NH4 plus. So another half reaction that is NO3 minus and this goes to NH4 plus. Now I can write the balanced equation. In the first case I have to add 2 electrons. In this case I have 3 oxygen so I have to add 3 H2O. Now 3 oxygen this side and how many hydrogen we have 4 plus 6. 10 hydrogen so I have to add 10 H plus this side so 10 H plus so this side I have 1 plus and this side I have 10 plus 1 electron so I have 9 H plus extra so this means if I add this side so let us find uh, how many plus I have extra so this plus plus 9 plus 1 minus so I have to add 8 electron you check it 8 electron plus 1 electron 9 electron so 10 minus 9 I will 1 plus and 1 plus this side so what I have to do is I have to multiply this equation by 4 and I have to add so if I add this to equation after multiplication I will have 4 Zn plus this side there is no change NO3 minus 10H plus and this side you will have 8 Zn2 plus plus NH4 plus plus 3H2O 
So this is the balanced equation you will have. Now things are very easy. Now I have to apply simply the concept of equations. So let us first find mole of NO2 if I apply PV is equals to NRT. So P is one atmospheric pressure, volume is given to you 1.04 liter and as you have to find R is 0 0.0 at 2 and temperature is 298 Kelvin. So if you solve here, so you will have so N is equals to, so let me do this one, so 1.04 I can do myself. So this comes out to be N is 0 0.02, so this comes out 0 0.0425, so this is the mole of NO2. So now we will use this mole of NO2, so we have here mole of NO2 is mole of NO2 this is equals to 0 0.0425 mole now what we will do is so you see mole of NO2 can be found so let us say mole of copper is X and mole of zinc is Y so I can say mole of copper is X and mole of zinc that is basically Y so I have a one equation that is total weight is 1.5 gram. So molecular weight of copper is 63.5 into X plus molecular weight of zinc that is 65.5 into Y and the initial weight of the cell Y is 1.5 gram. So we have initial weight is 1.5 gram. So this is equals to 1.5 gram. So I have one equation. Now I will have next equation that is the mole of NO2. So you see one mole of copper, so you see the balanced equation. One mole of copper gives two mole of CO2. So X mole of copper will give two X mole of NO2. You see X is the mole of copper. So I can say one mole of copper gives two mole of NO2. So X mole will give two X mole. Similarly, you see this equation four mole of zinc gives at my NO2 no NO2 so this is fine so NO2 is only coming from the reaction with copper so now I know mole of copper is X so mole of NO2 is 2X so this is 2X is total mole of NO2 so I can write 2X is mole of NO2 and mole of NO2 is 0 0.0425 0 0.0425 mole now you solve for x, so I will get x is 0 0.0425 divided by 2. So this is the value of x, that is the mole of copper. So this divided by 2, so this will come out to be 0 0.012. 0 0.0212. So this is the mole of copper. Now you can find the value of y, so that is the mole of zinc. Basically, you have to find percentage. So, let me check the question what it asks. So, calculate the percentage composition. So, what is the mole of copper is this? So, weight of copper I can say 0 0.0212 into 63.5. That is the weight of copper. So, this multiplied by 63.5 I can use. This multiplied by 63.5 and this comes out to be 1.35. So this is 1.35 gram. So percentage copper is 1.35. This divided by total weight was initially 1.5 into 100. So this will come out to be 1.35 divided by 1.5 into 100. That is around 90 percent. So this is around 90 percent. Next first question says, how many milliliter of 3 MHNO3 will be required for completely reacting of 1 gram of brass? So if I have 1 gram of brass, so this is the B part, what is the mole of HNO3 required? So what is the HNO3? 
what is the volume what is volume of HNO3 that is required so you see the concentration of HNO3 is given to you that is 3m so you see in this case if I have 1 gram of brass this means 90% of copper so I will have 0.9 gram of copper and 0.1 gram of zinc so now I can know mole of copper so I can say mole of copper is this is 0.9 divided by 63.5 and mole of zinc will be mole of zinc this will be 0.1 divided by 65.5 now you see the question the HNO3 required you can again use the balanced equation if you see the balanced equation one mole of copper requires how many mole of HNO3 you can check this equation balanced equation you can use so if you see this balanced equation one mole of copper requires two mole of NO3 minus that is two mole of HNO3 so if I have now this question says 0.9 mole 0.9 divided by 63.5 so in case of copper the HNO3 required will be 0.9 divided by 63.5 into 2 are you getting or not so now I can write mole of HNO3 for copper so this will be two times that is 0 0.9 divided by 63.5 into 2 because one mole of copper requires two mole of NO3 minus again mole of HNO3 for zinc now again check the equations you have here so if you see this equation now 4 mole of zinc requires 1 mole of NO3 minus so 1 mole will require 1 by 4 so you can say here so this is 0 0.1 by 60 so 65.5 and this into 1 by 4 so this is the total mole of HNO3 required so total mole of HNO3 is so I can say total HNO3 this will be 0 0.9 into 2 divided by 63.5 plus and this is simply 0 0.1 divided by 4 into 65.5 now if I require volume so this I have to equate with number of mole of HNO3 so let us say so molarity of HNO3 3M so 3 into volume this is the mole of HNO3 this should be same as 9 into 2.9 into 2 so let me remove this space so 0.9 into 2 and this divided by 63.5 plus 0.1 divided by 4 into 65.5 so I can solve for volume and this volume will come into liter are you getting or not so let me check this value so the first is I can see so you can see here 0 0.9 into 2 divided by 63.5 so this is 0 0.028 so let me do the whole calculation in one place so this plus 0 0.1 divided by 4 into so divided by 4 into 65.5 now you have to make two brackets bracket and then this comes out to be 0 0.02872 I think I have done correctly so then divided by 3 this is the volume and let me multiply by 1000 so I will get in milliliter so this will come out to be 9.57 milliliter so this volume is 9.57 milliliter so the volume required in this case is 9.57 milliliter of 3m HNO3 now this question is an easy question only thing is you have to write down the reactions properly if you have written the balanced reaction things are easy are you getting or not 
So overall you have to only important point you have that is writing the balance equation. And once you have written the balance equation, you can always see number of mole of NO2 that is 2x if the mole of copper is x. And you can equate 2x with the number of mole of x. Then you will get the value of x. Similarly, you have another equation from there you can get the value of y. Then you will get the percentage. Now the second part of the question that the mole of HNO3 required. In that case, you see one mole of copper react with two mole of HNO3. Similarly, one mole of four mole of zinc reacts with one mole of NO3 minus. So I basically this NO3 minus is HNO3. Are you getting or not? So this is the important point here we have. We can also do the same question using the equivalent method, but this method is a better method. We'll discuss the next question.